Okay, everybody, I just woke up to get ready for work mm -hmm. and I looked out in the pen and I see a little baby playing and jumping around. <laughs> so I missed um, Rosie having her full. You know me, I'm pretty good at um, catching them and not missing it from watching from the bedroom window like I do. But yesterday was my birthday and Bryce and Becca did all of the chores for me. So I didn't really go down there last night to check her. They checked her at nine or 10 o'clock right before Bryce left. And yeah, well, we've had a lot going on too. Yeah. We were very tired. Isaac had sur his surgery, a lot of, you know, and stuff like yeah. that. So yeah. we've just been exhausted. In the last week, there's been a lot of sleepless nights. So I, I needed to sleep so I could make it through the week and go to work. So let's go see it together though. We doing the intro up here so that you guys get to see it for the first time with us. Yep. We don't know nothing other than it looks pretty healthy because it was playing when I woke up. I seen it and the mama up and walking around. So it sounds like everything went well. Oh, it's nursing. It looks light colored already. It's nursing color. Yeah. Another Palomino. Three with a star. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Bob is awesome. Look at this. It's perfect size. It's not not tiny. But not huge. Look at this sucker, best. Bob did three for three Palominos this year. I can't believe it. Last year it was four for four sorrels. Good job, Mama. This Good is job, awesome. Mama. Mama looks pretty happy and healthy. Well, looks grouchy. She's always she grouchy, but she looks healthy. Uh, yeah, she's a girl. A girl. Are you it's a girl. Look oh, at there. No. Another awesome girl. Oh, yeah. This is amazing. That's a perfect looking baby. Okay, I'm gonna go grab her some grain. Becca, okay. here you take this one. And when we get the grain, me and Becca can get in there and play with the baby and get it used to. I can't believe it. What in the world, Rosie? We thought you were going to have a little red boy. For about the past 10 days, we had thought Rosie was going to go into labor. And there were multiple nights we were running back and forth to the barn. There was even one night we were 100% sure she was in labor right here. And it ended up being a false alarm. But all's well that ends well. Everything ended up being perfectly fine. A healthy, full, healthy mama. And she ended up going a few days after we got back from being up in St. Louis. Isaac had that surgery, as a lot of you know. And thankfully, she didn't go while we were gone. Uh, so we were pretty happy. Um, with how it all turned out. Thank you. Look at her pink eyes. Hi. She's cute. Hey, Mama. Okay, Rosie. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna get a cute video of her. Oh, they're so pretty. Wow. See? Yeah, that's a girl. Yeah. yeah no doubt. A girl for sure. She's already pooping. How old do you think she is? Just like um, two hours maybe? She, no, she's dry. It's okay, Mom. Okay. Yeah, so to weigh her and stuff, we're going to have to tie Mama up because she's not the kind of mom we want to trust too far. She has a crescent star. <laughs> Okay, we got the halter on Rosie, and we're gonna weigh the baby. Oh, she's so pretty. Yeah, she's I don't think she's as big as Chantilly. <laughs> okay. She heavy? It's okay, Mama. It's okay, Mama. Got 
Yeah. 84 pounds. 84? Okay. Yeah, that's a good weight. That's a good weight. Yeah. So, similar in size to Happy. Happy was 82. That's way better than 125 pounds, huh, Rosie? Much easier. This is the iodine spray we hit the umbilical cord with. So, for those who don't know, what's, why do we do that? Ah, uh, because they tell us to. <laughs> it's to prevent infection, basically. Okay, and we've actually already chosen a name for this little girl. Her name is Little Annie Rooney, um, and we're going to call her Roo, or Becca has been calling her Kangaroo. <laughs> we were trying to think of a name that kind of went along with her grandma's name, which was Missouri's Annie Roo. Annie Roo is one of the horses they use as the breed standard in the Missouri Fox Trotters. So in honor of her grandma, we were trying to figure out how to add Annie or Roo or both of those to this little filly's name. And then our other little foal who was born just a few days before this, we named her after an old song, Chantilly Lace. Uh, so we were kind of hoping uh, to maybe somehow match their names up in some way, uh, but we could not figure it out until one of our Patreon members mentioned an old song, and the old song's title is Little Annie Rooney, uh, and it just clicked, and we were like, that's perfect, and so that is going to be her name, Little Annie Rooney. You're going to be... Oh, goodness gracious. You don't have to do that. Strawberry blonde eyelashes. She's okay. She's almost got more goldy red to her coat yeah, than ever she, she did. She does. Okay, baby. You're okay. Oh, we're gonna put her out where the two babies can meet each other and start to make friends, and the mama can get the good fresh green grass. She's been locked up in this pen for a month, waiting on her to have her baby, and she's stir crazy and wants some freedom yep. and she'll gain better weight the grass is real thick out there even though we're feeding her a ton yeah um, she's just kind of a hard keeper yeah so the baby's not even she's just one day old so usually we keep them in for you know two days yeah. but because rosie you know she just needs out um and it's nice weather the grass is thick and we don't have any other horses on this side of the pasture well, except yeah. jesse so it's just it's just a perfect time Yeah, her baby's doing really well. but And Jessie does not like being around us with her full, as you can see. Rosie. So, I mean Rosie, sorry. Yeah, Jessie doesn't mind at all. Yeah, I'm sorry. I keep saying Jessie. This is Rosie. Help her get down this hill. She's got it. Is that a halter on her since she's hard to catch? You might just till we see how the two mares act. Jessie and Chantilly are way down there. Which is probably good right now. Rosie sees her. So, Chantilly and this little foal are 10 days apart in age. Chantilly was the 10th and she's the 20th. Mama's gonna take her away. Wow, that's really moving. Isn't that crazy how fast they can run like that? Here comes Chantilly and Jesse. Look at little Chantilly's head bob coming up the hill. She's dirty and wet. <laughs> okay, so now Rosie is moving away from them. 
I'm so excited to watch. I'm doing really bad photo or videography, <laughs> filming. No! <laughs> well, she wanted to run too, and Mama called her back. Uh huh. <laughs> Chantilly! Come here, baby! Come here, Tilly! Wow! She's twice the size of that baby. Oh, heck yeah! She was when she was born. I bet Chantilly's 200 pounds now. <laughs> Isn't it weird? We had three palominos. We had, we had yeah. and we had a, a big baby, a medium baby, and a tiny baby. Yeah, Goldilocks baby. Yeah, too bad they weren't born at the same time. One that would be hilarious. One was way too small, one was way too big, and one's just right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Rosie's rolling over there. How sweet. Go see Chantilly. Hi, Chantilly. What a pretty face. Hi. Mm. You know I'm your buddy, don't ya? Hi. Look at her freckles on her nose. You know I'm your buddy. Yes. Yeah. Mm. You're yeah. a baby. Yeah. yeah. That other one won't be this sweet. Mama won't let it. She says, I love Chantilly. Oh, yeah. Everything about her. You are a good little girl. Don't bite. <laughs> you do bite. You do bite, though. Ouch! No, no. Don't bite. She's just awesome, JR. Yeehaw, she says. This is hard to film because I can't keep the camera on both of them. Oh! <laughs> she fell down. Oh, now she has to call her mommy. Oh, well, yeah. She says, ouchie. I'm doing a really bad job filming this. This is weird. Well, watch. Well, because I just want to watch it. I don't want to film it. <laughs> this is great. This is my favorite thing I think we've ever done. We need to get prints out there, too. We I have know. all three little Palominos We together. really have to do that this week. Yeah, baby girl. Oh my gosh. I just really love her. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's awesome. Yeah. She just seems special to me. She's very special. She's a good girl. Mm -hmm. Good girl, Chantilly. Yeah. Chantilly kind of took over the show for a minute there, but she settled down eventually. She was very interested in the new foal. They're less than two weeks apart in age, so not far at all. Just the size difference, though, is amazing. So we have gone from having our smallest foal ever born on record at 60, 62 pounds, that's Prince, to then having our biggest foal ever born on record. Chantilly was 125 pounds. And you can only show so much on a video, but if you're there in person, you would not believe how different uh, in size they actually were. Chantilly basically was born the size of Prince now at two and a half months old. And then, of course, Rue is born right in the middle at 84 pounds. It's just crazy, the size difference in all three of these foals. Plus, we are just so shocked that all three are Palominos when last year all of our foals were born sorrel. So super exciting for us. And like JR said earlier, we're joking that there are Goldilocks foals. And Rue does sum up the spring 24 foaling. Uh, so the next foal will not be due until this fall, September, probably the middle or more towards the end. Soiks will have our little Oliver baby, and we're pretty excited about this one. So Soiks is our Missouri Fox Trotter mare, and then Oliver is our Clydesdale Stallion. So the foal will be born a draft cross, which we have never done before. Uh, we always just have pure Missouri Fox Trotters. They're registered. That's what all 
all three of the other folds you just saw are. Um, so this is uh, something new for us, uh, but we're pretty excited and we cannot wait to see this full. We hope you're excited too. Soix is doing really well and you can see she's really starting to pooch. Right here you can see the full is pushing out right there. You can see a little bit of movement, but not much. But at times we have seen the full moving all over the place. So very active baby. So until Soix has her full this fall, we're just going to be hanging out with all these other babies in the pasture, watching them run and play. And here in the next couple days, we'll put Prince in with Chantilly and Rue. So we'll have all three foals, all Palominos out there playing together. It's going to be so much fun. We can't wait. If you've enjoyed meeting little Rue, make sure to give her a thumbs up and don't forget to turn on your notifications uh, so that our videos are continuously pulling up in your feed. And if you are not a subscriber of our channel yet, please consider hitting that subscribe button. We sure would appreciate it and we will see you in the next video.